Bidina lies between Penzance and St Just in an area of outstanding natural beauty. It's also directly opposite Receiven Common, which is owned by the Cornwall Wildlife Trust, and there are stunning views towards St Michael's Mound and the Lizard beyond. You're just three miles from the coast in any direction here, so you have numerous beaches at your disposal, as well as the stunning Cape Cornwall. But the nearest sandy beach, which is great for surfing, is Senan. The property has four bedrooms, some outbuildings, and just under 2.5 acres of land, but we'll start with the inside first. So the entrance to the property is through this conservatory. Um, it's unusual to start with when you first come in, but it's actually a lovely space here. It's a really well built conservatory as well. It's double glazed glass roof. It's really lovely and warm. And then you come through the double doors here into another area, which is a music room at the moment. Could be an office or just another reception room. So a couple of little steps lead you down into the old part of the cottage. And then you have this lovely ingle nook fireplace here. So unfortunately it's not in action, but it's a great use of space here. And it's just lovely to have that as a feature. So you've got the old beams here, but everything's painted white. So it's lovely and bright, gives the illusion of higher ceilings, but it's still really cozy in this room. And then at this end, the fireplace is working and you've got the wood burning stove and it's a large flue as well. So the current owner said that the heat in here in the evenings is just incredible. So then you come round the old Cornish traditional fireplace. And this would be tapered and would go up through the building and originally would have been on the outside of the cottage. The previous owners have squared off this section just so you can put the mantelpiece, but you can see where the chimney goes round. It's lovely to have all that old stonework there. The dining room's a really good size and it's nice to have these doors that open up onto the patio and then you can look as far as, say, as St Michael's Mount in the distance. So in the kitchen you've got another seating area here with that window just framing the view across the garden. You've got the island, nice wooden units there. And then the views across this side towards Pendeen, which is a great climbing and walking area. The kitchen leads through to the utility rooms. It's a really useful space in here. You've got all the appliances underneath and then more worktop. There's a bathroom at the end of the corridor and access through to the garden. But we'll go out there later because we haven't explored the bedrooms upstairs. So everywhere's just been re-carpeted and repainted as well. So it's all white, blank canvas for a new owner. And we'll go through to the first of the ensuite bedrooms. So the room takes a double bed and then we have the ensuite shower room here as well. So it's got lovely natural light coming in from that window there. It's a good size. And then we've got this beautiful stonework as well, which actually continues through to the shower room from the fireplace below. The next bedroom's being used as an office, but you can fit a single bed in here or bunk beds. And then through the corridor, you have to go up one small step. That's what's lovely about the old cottage. You've got all the different floor levels giving it character. And through to the master bedroom, which is a really good size. You've got beautiful views across the garden to the countryside beyond. And then lovely features again, like the fireplace with the exposed stonework. And the ensuite shower room. And then we have one further bedroom. It's a single at the moment, but it does take a double bed. And then the family bathroom, just through the hallway here. But we're going to go and take a look at the gardens. The gardens surround the house, so you have sun throughout the day. And there are numerous seating areas. There's also a vegetable patch, fruit cages, a pond, and a nature reserve. And included in the acreage are two gated paddocks. In addition to the main house, you also have a barn that's currently being used as a garage. And with a high ceiling height in there, you can fit a camper van, caravan, or even a horse box. There are also two further outbuildings and a wooden workshop, all of which have power and access to running water. And with this much land, the possibilities are endless. 